Okay, so I want you to just keep walking down, like you're almost towards that ranger. So here we've got Hamish. Hamish normally pulls mum off her feet um, on the leash. And he's, he was on a half check before he was, you know, on a harness and all that usual. Um, and but he just never knew leash pressure. He always felt he had to respond to pressure by pulling, which is kind of what the harness teaches. So they were on a half check with him, but it's just too... Uh, not enough communication for him at that point with mum. So we're helping bridge the gap by, um, we've jumped on and we've been teaching him for a wee while the prong collar, which is way, way more gentle. It's probably like 15 times more gentle than uh, even using a, 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 a half check. So the, just by the amount of pressure that's applied, yeah. He would normally pull you off your feet to that, sniff that. So I want you to not let him pull him away and say, come on, good job, good job. He wouldn't, so he wouldn't normally walk like that with you? No. He would normally be trying to get in the gardens and pool. We'd, and, we'd be down that little state. Really? Yeah. Especially because it's icy right now. You know, that's a very real thing for you. So see how your habit, this is all about changing your habits. So your habit there was see how you're pulling it almost back, at almost like a six o'clock position, pulling back the way. You've got to try and resist that. Okay? So what you've got to try and do, when he, if he starts getting too much in front... First of all, it means our timing is slightly off. Like we've waited till he's here and then we've started to control him. When he goes from here to here, that's when we start, okay? If he's already there, I want you to do either a three o'clock or a nine o'clock. Move him round, okay? Rather than pulling back. It's all about changing the way, the pressure that you apply, the amount of time you apply the pressure and the way you apply the pressure. Good, now turn him round. And round again as if to go up to here to the left. Nice. Nice. So what the prongs allows you to do, use a Herm Spring or prong collar. He's on a 3.2 right now because he's a, a big boy. He's like 40 odd kilos. Um, is instead of there being a flat surface that the dog leans against, there's these smooth rounded prongs that allow the, the owner to um, communicate way more efficiently than with a flat surface, especially when a dog doesn't understand leash pressure. The dog's used to leaning into a flat surface and going, yeah, cool, I'll pull. And he's, and he's actually snapped and bitten um, some children as well. So we have to make it. So see how we're walking now with a bit of pressure. You want to have no pressure. That doesn't mean, you're, that doesn't mean you let him. It means you have to get him out of that pressure. So as soon as he adds a bit of pressure, you're not necessarily popping him out of it right now. You could, in a more positive foundation, have turned him or held, just held, but not back the way, held sideways. And as soon as he went, up oh, pressure, he would have released himself and moved and you would have been, yes, good job. Okay? So we want him to learn every time he switches off the pressure, stops pulling. Yes, that's what I want. Right? Once you've taught him that a bit more through you you then can hold him accountable to go hey i've taught you this yeah. you know we don't want pulling and then when that time when he starts to load up get a wee bit ned tracksuit on you can be hey don't go there yeah. but you owe it first to not just walk along with pressure all yeah. the time that's what people do all day every day you know and it's funny because you now have your dog walking beside you with no pressure nice and relaxed everything wonderful calm and then somebody going by you with their dog in a harness or your flat collar even or a halty and it's like pulling and but it's seen as social. Oh, look at that wee dog. Oh, that's just funny. And it's like my dog has no pressure. Your dog has loads of pressure. You know, we're trying to have as little amount of pressure as possible. And the lead matches your jacket. It's just he is a boy. There we go. He is a boy, but he doesn't care. So you see his habit. If that had been the flat, he would have just started pulling you. So we need to work a bit on that, right? So what we're going to do is you, stay in filming and I'm going to take him a wee sec. You're filming me now. You just point at me and him. I'm just going to take you and show you what I mean, okay? So first thing is, I'm just moving the prong back up a wee bit, okay? Um, the reason it's slid slightly, I like the prong being ni nice and high, okay? The reason it's, it's slid slightly is because we have applied this angle yeah. rather than this angle or sideways. So when I'm first teaching, I let him move. If he tries to get too pulley, sideways, boom. Yes, good job, buddy. 
but I'm doing it as soon as he gets from here to here, maybe here in the middle, that's when I'm doing it. I'm not waiting till he's there, mm -hmm. okay? So I'm walking, as soon as he goes to there, boom. Good job. So I want the leash to be able to be resting on the hand. Then I know there's no pressure. The dog's just with me. Good. Good. Yes. Good. So all the dog feels is this pop, mm -hmm. and he moves in. See, now he's nice. Good job, buddy. Yes. So what I'm really wanting to make the dog do is be more sensitive to my touch. I want, my, I want to be able to say to my child, no. And I go, okay. I shouldn't have to scream and shout at them. If I want, if the dog is potentially going to make a mistake and pull you off your feet or lunge at something, I want to be able to, with the least amount of pressure, just, no. And the dog goes, I'm sensitive to you, I respect you, I trust that you're going to take care of this, and they respond instantly, mm -hmm. whether that's on or off leash. So here, I want the dog to be sensitive to my movement. Boom. Yes, good job, yeah, good job. So the, the only problem you were having is you're waiting too late. Yeah. Or not too late, but you're making it harder for yourself. And then when he's here, you're back the way. That's confusing to him. He's like, yes, do you want me to pull? And it's like, no, I want you. So right now, your 12 o'clock pops are more for stop, mm -hmm. stopping behaviours. Everyone else, when I'm just redirecting, I'm more sideways. Just boom. Yes. Good job. Much I want, now, what I'm doing just to show you is I'm giving more leash to show. Mm -hmm. So what he'll start doing is before he feels pressure, he'll move. Yes, good choice. Whereas before, everything's about more pressure, more pressure. I want the tiniest pressure, so that means I control that. Yeah. So this is how we teach. Everything is taught with a reinforcement based foundation that doesn't mean we won't say no but anything being taught should be taught with that yes good job okay you can stop that